let's talk about anxiety. We actually need anxiety. It helps to motivate us. It makes us more self-aware. If we have a quiz coming up, we get a little anxiety. We're going to spend the time to study for it. Uh, it prepares us for danger. Uh, but on the other hand, we live in a society where we have excessive amounts of anxiety every single day and we actually hate that in fact uh we're spending a lot more time in our fight or flight mode uh, where our sympathetic nervous system is always in action i don't know if you remember what your sympathetic nervous system does from intro but um when your body's in danger uh your response system your sympathetic nervous system it will increase your heart rate dilate your eyes increase your blood pressure it will throw glucose into your bloodstream adrenaline into your bloodstream uh clot uh it will clot your blood to help you if you're in danger uh and when the crisis is over your parasympathetic nervous system comes back into play and brings your body back down to homeostasis. The problem is that we're spending a lot of time in this crisis mode on a daily basis. Uh, we were already doing this before COVID-19 came around and now it's just made the problem worse. So, uh, but uh, for this conversation about anxiety, we understand it absolutely can help us do better all right uh i have anxiety i always wear a mask uh first of all i'm 64 and it would be foolish of me not to but i'm not going to take any chances I, just a little bit of anxiety makes me uh better prepared to handle this crisis uh you know if you don't have any anxiety about it you may pray, pay the ultimate price uh it helps us perform at a better level anxiety, uh, but it certainly can control us. Uh, too much anxiety, we're not gonna be able to perform at all. You're, if you have too much anxiety, you won't be able to take a test. If you were in a play, you wouldn't be able to perform. Um, too much anxiety makes a task insurmountable. Uh, it will actually, in the end, with excess anxiety, it will disable us, it will debilitate us, it makes us dysfunctional, it gives us distress, uh, it makes our behavior deviant, different, and so we could get to a point where we have so much anxiety, we don't even want to go out in the world, um, and that's a problem, and there's where that criteria of a disorder comes into play. Um, you could have so much anxiety, you actually think you're having a heart attack, but you're actually having a panic attack. And then you become so afraid of going outside because you might have this panic attack that you decide you will stay home and you will never leave the house and you could end up with agoraphobia. So uh, anxiety is really, really difficult. Um, so what do we do? there's a whole category of anxiety disorders uh and i can almost guarantee each one of us has had a little bit or a lot of one of these disorders uh perhaps uh to the point where it's not debilitating but we still understand we have anxiety uh and we need to break this down into um categories so um what we want is we want to be able to understand what anxiety is and understand the the disorders that go along with it and how they bring you to a point where you can't even function so i want you to think about this and this is the de is a definition anxiety is a negative mood state characterized by bodily symptoms of physical tension and by apprehension about the future. What if, what if, what if, all right? 
The symptoms could be unease, a set of behaviors such as fidgeting, picking, looking anxious, worried, a physiological response, uh, you feel sick to your stomach, you're getting migraines, uh, what elevated heart rate, uh, these originate in the brain and are reflected in the bodily, the somatic functions, uh, elevated heart rate, muscle tension, sweating. Uh, we can be rational about this anxiety. And if you know in your mind that you're being ridiculous, there's no reason for me to have this anxiety. And yet, sometimes it just will not go away. And when we think about fear, we know it can be a good thing. It protects us, the fight or flight. But on the other hand, if say your sympathetic nervous system is in play and it will not go away, it's there on a daily basis, you're always, you know how they always say, oh, cortisol, you know, your cortisol is your stress hormone. Um, in the morning, your cortisol is, it pumps into your body and then it goes down through the course of the day. It helps you manage stress during the day. But in today's world, we're spending way too much time in the stress, which means we're not reducing the level of cortisol. You've all seen these ads for uh, have belly fat, cortisol, uh, and, and that's what's happening to us. Uh, we're not sleeping right. We're not eating right. Uh, we are becoming impaired, um, and that is a problem. So what do you think of an impairment does with anxiety? It's going to affect the quality of your life, okay? And you have to understand that it's important to note that anxiety is a future-oriented mood state, okay? Remember that. Future-oriented mood state characterized by apprehension because we cannot predict or control upcoming events, okay? Fear is immediate. It's an emotional reaction to current danger or perceived danger, okay? Characterized by strong escapist action tendencies. And when you have this fear even before something occurs, all right, when there's even nothing to be afraid of, then it's going to turn into an issue, all right? So uh, we're going to, uh, I'm going to make these short little videos throughout this chapter and just focus on them. Uh, every question within the quiz will pertain to the videos or the content on Moodle. All right, this will be the end of number one.